So now as we continue our journey through the world of plant hormones, next on the list is abscisic acid. So this is pronounced and spelled abscisic acid, more commonly just referred to as ABA. And that's what I'll call it from this point forward. So now before I begin, there's a huge disclaimer that we really need to establish to make sure it does not ever trick us. Okay, There's a big disclaimer that we need to get out of the way. Some people already know that the term abscission, which is a term used in plant study, is what is referred to as the falling of leaves. It literally means the falling of leaves. That's its purpose. That's the definition of abscission. Guess what? ABA, abscisic acid. You have to write this down and never forget this. It's a misnomer because ABA has nothing to do with this. So let's make that very, very clear. It has nothing to do with this. Okay? So ABA does not is not involved in the falling of leaves. Even though it has a similar name, abscisic acid, it is not involved in abscission. Okay? Make sure that's very, very clear. Nothing to do with abscission. Okay, so that's our disclaimer. What does it do then? Uh, abscisic acid has two major roles, and those two roles are critically important for the success of the plant as a whole. Now, the first role is in seed dormancy, which is something we have not talked about much yet, but it's a critically important part of the whole life cycle of a plant. So, we know that seeds don't germinate the moment that they fall down. Why don't they? Why don't they germinate, let's say, in the middle of winter if they fall down? Why do, how do they know when to germinate correctly? In addition, why don't seeds just start growing when they're inside the dark, fleshy part of a fruit? Because seeds are enclosed in fruit. Why don't fruit have seeds, plants growing all out of them? This is all because of seed dormancy. And this is essentially the idea that a seed will only germinate under suitable conditions. Okay, It only grows and gets activated, therefore under very precise and suitable conditions. All of those conditions that I mentioned before, not so suitable. Too dark if it's inside the fruit. Too cold, not enough water if it's outside in the winter, let's say, on the ground. So what's going to happen is when seeds are in their dormant state, when seeds are just, just developed and done mat maturing, these seeds will be with a very high levels of ABA. They have incredibly high levels of abscisic acid when they are in their dormant state, right after they're fully matured. And so they won't germinate. They will not grow. They will not uh, sort of begin their activation process until all of the, or a good amount of the ABA is washed out. Until ABA washed out. And when would ABA sort of be flushed out? When there's water and when there's a good temperature and when there's a good soil environment. And that's when the seed would actually get out of dormancy and begin germination. So ABA is a big, big hormone involved in that process. In addition, ABA is also involved in something known as drought tolerance. So it functions in making sure that the plant doesn't die just in case situations get dire. They become uh, very, very uh, dry in the environment. So if there's a drought, there's a way that a plant can combat this. First and foremost, what you notice is that the plant will wilt. It sort of falls over to the side, looks very sort of pale, and it looks it doesn't look very healthy. And this wilting process is actually something critically important to make sure that the plant continues its survival. Because when the plant wilts, it's put in an orientation, let's say, in which ABA, abscisic acid, accumulates. This is a sign for ABA to begin to reproduce and accumulate in the leaves when the plant is in a wilted position because of the drought, because of a lack of water. So now, when the ABA accumulates in the leaves, this causes a massive, a massive loss of an important proton, uh, of an important, uh, let's say, ion called potassium, right? K plus for potassium from the guard cells. And if we remember back in our plant anatomy lecture and our plant diversity lecture, we know that guard cells are involved in the stomatal opening and closing. And when you have a loss of K+, a loss of potassium, this causes the guard cells to be in a flaccid position. And if you remember way back when, when we covered this, flaccid position of guard cells would mean that the stomata is closed. 
If the stomata is closed, let's go back to our idea. We are in a drought right now. Is this good or bad? This is good during a drought because this reduces transpiration. And remember, transpiration is that loss of water through the stomatal opening. Though transpiration is good when you want to move water throughout the plant, when you want to move water to the leaves and the stem, it is not good when there's not enough water to even do that, when there's a drought. Thus, you want to reduce transpiration. You want to make sure the stomata is closed. That's because the guard cell is in a flaccid position because it doesn't have a lot of this potassium uh, ion, and that's because ABA has accumulated in the leaves. Notice that stepwise pattern that we just developed. And that covers our look at abscisic acid.